Okay, we're going to play a game here. We, we, we talk about this all the time in the NBA, the confusion between who's a one and who's a two. Yes. Now, there, here's my qualifications for what makes a one. You rely on they're reliable mentally and physically. Okay. That's why Kyrie drives me nuts. I don't know what I get physically or mentally. Um, they're the best player on a title team. Other good players on the team, including all-stars, often defer to them late in games. So like when Paul defers to, you know, if he plays for a Team USA, like that's the ultra al- al- alpha. Like when Bird was deferring to Michael, it's like that's the ultimate alpha. And also, you're a winning player. Some guys are talented. They're not winning players. So we're going to play, well, I don't know what it's called. One or two. That's what it's called. All right, it's called one or two. <laughs> are they a one or a two? Here we go. Is Joel Embiid a one or a two? All right, they're plus 121 when he's on the floor and minus 31 when he's not. And because Ben Simmons is not reliable, he has to carry a much greater percentage of of this team's success. So I feel he's a one. The injuries scare me to death, but I think he has the mentality of a one. He's got the physicality of a one. Um, I think he shows up in big spots like a one. He's a one. Is Kevin Durant a one or a two? He's a Kevin's a one. I don't like him in that uniform, by the way. It's it's uh, I I hate that uniform. <laughs> First of all, he has the highest career scoring average of all active players. He averages thirty a game in the playoffs. So, by the way, he played the minutes. He gave you the games. He was great in the fourth quarter. So I thought, even as he lost last year, I thought it was a great series for him. It was like wow. Off that Achilles injury? Yeah. I think Kevin's a one. Absolutely. Is James Harden a one or a two? I think James is a two. I think his style where he needs the whistle does not play well in the postseason. You can't be just a great regular season player and be a one. He's a great regular season player. He needs a whistle. You don't get it in the postseason. I don't get a ton on the defensive end. Kevin Durant will give you a defensive effort. He feels like... I need somebody. I think Kevin won, Harden two can win a title. But I think Harden would defer to Kevin late in games. Is Giannis a one or a two? He's absolutely a two. Now, Middleton's not a one, so don't even go there. But I don't trust him late in games. And that's really what it comes down to. If I don't like it with six minutes to go in the NBA games, I mean, let's remember, outside of three feet, he's 34% from the field. And stop telling me he's going to become a shooter. It's getting worse. Is Trey Young a one or a two? It's really early, but everything I see is a one. First of all, he distributes, so he makes people better. Number two, he takes big shots. Mm -hmm. He's great on the road. Like, there's a Reggie Miller quality here. He loves to be the villain. Even LeBron didn't like to be the villain. So I like the fact that he'll take the big shot. He doesn't shoot nearly as well as Dame or Steph, but he doesn't care. He'll take the shot. He elevates teammates. He's great on the road. He doesn't shrink in big games. I think he's a one. How about Jimmy Butler? You know, I like Jimmy, but he's starting to feel like a two. Is He actually has never been a great shooter. There's a little bit of Dwayne Wade here. He can be a number one on a really, really young team, but I feel for Jimmy Butler to win a title, he's got to be a two. He had the lowest shooting percentage by any player in the postseason. It's a Dwayne Wade situation. On Miami, he's a one. But if but if Tatey was on this team or or uh, you know one of the great players, he I think would be your two. Jason Tatum, one or a two. This is very difficult. This one I this one I struggle with. I think I may be wrong. I have him as a two. And I'm not sure I'm right on this. Bill Simmons could come on. I'll give Bill Simmons the floor to argue. <laughs> He is, a, he is talented. I am not disputing that. Of course. He, offensively, he does a lot of things a one does. But they lost in five games to the Nets. They weren't overly competitive. Here's where I struggle. He was very good in the fourth. I may revisit this. I may regret this. I think I, he's... I feel... How about I'm this? with you on this. I would have said it too, also. Best two in the league. Sure. He's the single... No, he's the second best two in the league. I'll get to the best two later. By the way, being a two is not an insult. No, he's the second best two in the league. Is Bradley Beal a one or a two? He's a two, and I'll tell you why. And I like Bradley Beal. But the fact that he has not forced his way out of Washington 
tells me his mentality is he's happy making money and scoring points. Ones, LeBron wouldn't stay there. Durant wouldn't stay there. I don't think Steph Curry would stay there. If you're staying with that organization, that's telling me I'm satisfied where I'm at. Donovan Mitchell. I think he's a one. I think he defends. I think he plays hard. I think he demands a lot from his teammates. He's he's okay making Rudy Gobert mad. I like his mentality, a one. Chris Paul. He's a one, not a huge score. Who does Booker defer to late? In the huddle, who does Booker defer to? Who does this team defer to with a minute and a half to go? That's a one. It's not all scoring. The team defers to him. Booker defers to him in big moments. In the huddle, on the floor, on the defensive end, with the ball. So that makes Devin Booker a... Two. Devin's still got a way to go. He's got to improve his passing. He's got to improve his defense. The Clippers went right after him. He's a great two. He's not as good as Tatum. Jason Tatum's a better player right now than Booker by a little bit. How about Jokic, one or two? He's a one. He, he, he went, first of all, plays every game, plays hard, scores, makes everybody better. Best passing big in the league. He's a one. Kawhi Leonard. The best two in the game. I'm sorry. He's the best two. Jason Tatum's the second best two. I cannot depend on him physically. I cannot depend on him emotionally. He's hurt. Nobody knows what it is. It's too weird to me. I can't build my franchise around him. Paul George? Very good, too. For obvious reasons, he has struggled in a lot of big clutch situations, but he's a good, too. All right, I got a bunch of others, but we ran out of time. (laughs) time. (laughs) That segment is so good. We have a lot more. (laughs) I shortchanged it. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.